Speaking to Nick Ferrari on his LBC show, the caller, who declined to reveal his name, claimed there was no reason for Mr. Vincent's friends and supporters to leave flowers outside the 78-year-old's house, the Hither Green. Vigilante suggested people could choose to leave the flowers further down the road, rather than immediately outside Mr. Osborne Brooks. House, he said, as a vigilante, I'd say to them put the flowers further down the road, we're happy to leave them there for a week, then we've got a compromise, but if they're not willing to compromise, every time they put them up we're going to take them down again, Nick. It's as simple as that, LBC Getty Hither Green resident tells Nick Ferrari he is infuriated, flowers were left for the dead burglar, he added, I I'm so infuriated that they've got the cheek to put them on the wall almost opposite his house. His family is not seeing the flowers. If they want to mourn him, put the flowers outside the caravan. Where he lived, no one local appreciates those flowers. And the family can't appreciate them because they're not there. The council should stop them. They have no right to put flowers down. I am so infuriated that they've got the cheek to put them on the wall almost opposite his house Hither Green Vigilante, they shouldn't be allowed to put flowers down on a public highway, everyone is considering this guy who has died there. Hasn't been any consideration and not as much for Richard who's had to move out of his own house, the Hither Green resident explained the flowers were obstructing the public pathway and causing an unnecessary amount of public spending as two police officers have been assigned to surveil the property at all times to avoid tensions, he claimed, but police have said the flowers must stay outside the house of the burglar's victim in Hither. Green for the same reason. The deputy chief of the Metropolitan Police, Craig Mackey, said the police presence outside the home of victim Richard Osborne Brooks is a bad use of resources when the alleged accomplice has still not been caught. Mr. Markey admitted that anyone removing the shrine could be arrested. He told LBC, if you do things where you cause a breach of the peace, disorder in that area, then like anyone, you could end up getting arrested. We don't want anyone getting there. It's in everyone's interest, and particularly the local community, that we bring the community back to whatever normal is as quickly as possible. There is someone still outstanding on this offense. Let's deal with that person.